I'm going to open up the subject to that now, throw it open to you to explain it to me, assuming I know nothing. Okay. I'm going to tell you about Ian. Ian is my window cleaner. Now, if Ian has a turnover and less of less than £90,000, and £90,000 is the new threshold for VAT that came in on the 1st of April. Prior to that, it was £85,000 per annum. And the turnover is the amount you invoice. It's not the profits of the business. It's the amount you invoice. So if you invoice less than £90,000 in a 12-month period, you don't have to be VAT registered. So if Ian came to you today to clean your windows and he charges you £100, you pay him £100 for the window cleaning. If, however, Ian was VAT registered because his turnover was above £90,000 per annum, he would charge you £120 because he'd have to add on 20% VAT. So what you'd find is that Ian would be 20% more expensive than your other window cleaner who isn't VAT registered. So Ian would not want to be VAT registered for people who cannot claim the VAT back, such as you, a householder. If he came to clean my windows, because our firm is VAT registered, it makes no difference to me. So he would charge me £120. And I, because I'm VAT registered, because he just cleaned our office windows, would claim back the £20 VAT. But Ian predominantly works for householders who aren't VAT registered. Therefore, he wouldn't want to be VAT registered if because he'd be too expensive. He's 20% more expensive than someone that isn't VAT registered. So he doesn't have to be VAT registered if your turnover is below that figure. If conversely, Ian's customers were only people like me, i.e. VAT registered businesses, then we know that we can claim the VAT back. So that means that Ian's turnover, let's say £100,000 being over £90,000, he'd pay £100,000, he'd be charging £20,000 VAT, and he would pay that £20,000 VAT to HM Revenue and Customs. However, he can recover input VAT, and input VAT is the VAT that he pays on anything he incurs for a business reason. So he's self-employed, <laughs> he can claim back some VAT on petrol, and other costs for the cars. He might have to pay a bit more in output VAT, but that's how it works. He can claim the VAT back on his phone, on any equipment. So if he buys some new ladders, if he buys a computer, he can get the VAT back. If you aren't VAT registered, you cannot do that. So what you've got to work out is whether you need to be VAT registered and who your customers are. So one of the questions was, I think it says, well, um, I provide services um, consultancy services to clients who are outside the UK. In that case, then it's outside the scope of that, so therefore you don't have to charge VAT. Now, it doesn't matter the type of entity you are, whether you're a sole trader, a partnership, limited company, the, the rules are exactly the same, i.e. if your turnover is over £90,000 and it's a vatable supply. So window cleaning is a vatable supply. If for the sake of argument, I've got residential rental income, that's exempt for VAT. So that means it doesn't matter what my turnover is. You don't charge VAT on residential rental income.